In this video, we'll analyze the case of frozen shoulder. This was a 57-year-old female patient. And she had problems with her shoulder for over three years when I saw her. She had gone to a number of specialists and had the diagnosis of a frozen shoulder. This was on her right side. When I examined her, she had a lot of pain in the shoulder, especially in the area of large intestine 15, more or less. And she also had a lot of limitations to the movement. When I tried to make her move her shoulder, she could do it more or less 90 degrees moving forward, but already with pain and it was completely impossible for her to do over 90 degrees with her arms. So she could lift her hand more or less to the height of her shoulder with a lot of pain, but no more than that. When I treat shoulder problems, there is one master tongue point that I love that solves most of the problems especially when it's in the area of the large intestine. So, for this patient, I decided to start using this point, which is Sanjian. This translates to the three shoulders, but when I teach it to my students, I usually call it the three magics, because it's one of those acupuncture points that produces results that are on the verge of magic. This is a combination of three points on the hand. It's more or less in the area of Lingu Dabai, but it's not the same. We can see here we have Lingu and Dabai. So these points are closer to the bone here. You always use the three points and you needle them deep until the patient feels an electric shock on their hand. And ideally the patient will feel the shock on the three needles and this is not manipulating the needle looking for the chi sensation you just go deeper and deeper until the patient tells you that they feel the shock generally you, you feel the patient jump even if you warn them and so I used these points on the same side of the pain so it was right side this is one of those master tongue points where there is a discussion if you should use them on the side of the pain or opposite side. One of the teachers that influenced me the most, which is Sean Goodman, uses it always opposite side. I tried it and in my experience it works better on the same side, so I always start using this point on the side of the pain. So I needle these three points. The patient felt the shock and I asked the patient again to try and move her shoulder and this time just a couple of seconds after inserting the needles the patient could do a full rotation of the shoulder. There was still some pain present but she recovered all the movement. Um, after this the, the patient actually started crying a bit because it was a very emotional moment for her because she had been struggling with that problem for over three years. She had seen doctors, physiotherapists, and she couldn't find any solutions. It was always getting worse. She didn't have a full range of motion for years, so it was a very emotional moment for the patient. But there was still some pain present. And since I had only used three needles so far, I decided to try and get completely rid of the pain. Of course, in a problem that has been developing for as long as this one has, and as serious as this one is, sometimes you don't get 100% relief in the first session. And also sometimes, the moment after you put the needles in, you get some relief, but by the end of the session, you get even more. So. It's not always necessary to go looking for zero pain on the first moment after you insert the needles. But I decided to proceed. And so after these points from Master Tongue Acupuncture, I used a combination of two different techniques again. 
the first thing I did was I went looking in the area of lung 5 on the side of the pain and what I was looking for were bluish veins that I could bleed and why did I do this? Bleeding lung 5 is very good to treat shoulder problems especially if they are very chronic problems it will help get rid of the stagnation and also of some inflammation that might be present and the patient indeed had blue veins in this area so I used bleeding in the area of lung 5 it's not bleeding the specific lung 5 point it's looking around this area for bluish veins that you can bleed and after this I decided to use also YNSA and I used the extra shoulder point which is here on the angle of the mandible and after this I asked the patient again to try and move her arm and the patient told me that there was almost no pain I left the needles in for 30 minutes and in the end when I took the needles off I asked the patient to try she still had full range of motion and she told me that there wasn't pain present but she felt that the shoulder was still not okay some weird feeling in the shoulder so I booked another session for three days after that and when she came she told me that almost no pain came back there was still that weird feeling around the shoulder and that the movement was completely okay also I used the same points except for the bleeding in the area of lung 5 first because if you're bleeding to get rid of the stagnation generally you only need to do it once and also I never bleed the same area two sessions in a row because I want the skin to heal completely sometimes if you do bleeding too often on the same area you will create some nasty wounds that are hard for the patient to recover from so I used the Sunjian and the YNSA point left it for 30 minutes and by the end of the session I asked the patient to move her shoulder and she told me that it was feeling completely fine no limitations of motion and no pain or weird feelings since there were no symptoms either movement or pain related I told the patient that we wouldn't book another session but I would call her one week after the, that second session to see how she was and if she needed to book another session I also warned her if she felt the symptoms returning she should call me and book her another session before that I called her after one week and she told me that no symptoms had returned full range of motion, no pain, no weird feelings and so I stopped seeing the patient this is another case that's very gratifying to me first because it was a problem that was taking a lot of life quality from her because it was hard for her to do any movement because it was very painful and a lot of the movements she couldn't even do she had to learn how to comb her hair with her left hand because she couldn't lift her right hand enough lots and lots of problems for her and she was on the verge of desperation because she saw many different doctors many specialists she spent a lot of money and the problem kept getting worse and worse with no light at the end of the tunnel and with something as simple as this two sessions she was completely free of that problem and she was able to return to her normal life so it's something that's very rewarding to me and that's the reason why I do acupuncture and that's also the reason why I like to teach these techniques thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe also if you want to learn more about the techniques I use check the courses I have for sale in the description of the video right now I only have the Portuguese version of the courses available but very soon I will have an English version as well.